Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am actually 33 weeks pregnant today and this is going to be my pregnancy update for the last week. So if you want to see how I've been getting on, then keep watching. So I'm going to try and get into this really quickly because this has actually been quite an eventful week and it all kind of sort of happened, I would say over the weekend and yesterday. Um, everything's fine obviously before I get into it, I don't want to be a drama llama but um, it's been quite a... Uh, yeah, eventful is probably the best word. So, um, on Friday last week, I decided that I wanted to really try and crack on with doing bits around the house, like home improvements, DIY and things like that. I just had it in my head from when Daisy was born. When she was in NICU, I found things got very overwhelming for me very quickly so I would like come home and if I saw like piles of laundry or things that I never managed to do and I didn't feel like I could do any more at that point in time because I was just so upset and emotional and obviously focusing on my poorly baby I just found them really overwhelming and I said to myself this time I would like to get the house in a really really good state and just be able to focus on the kids and getting through the days if in the event you know this baby boy has the same syndrome that me and Daisy do and if he doesn't that's even better because then we've got like you know those baby days that newborn haze to just enjoy at home and not lift a finger and worry about anything so I have forever it feels like had a set of cupboards in our kitchen that had been painted white and the rest the rest of wood like that's how they came it was a second hand kitchen I always said that I would paint the whole lot white and make it look like a country kitchen until we can afford to get a proper kitchen when we get an extension and stuff and you know that's what I started to do and I never managed to finish it because I started at the wrong time when Daisy had just come home from NICU and I was very overwhelmed still and I managed to do one cupboard and then you know fast forward a year nearly 18 months and that's all that's been done so I started on Friday I sanded the opposite cupboard at the top and I primed it and I added some coats and then by Saturday I finished it on Saturday I put them back up again I went to a birthday party had the kids on my own all day I walked into the village later on and got them like a chippy dinner I was trying to be a really fun mum I was like hoovering I was tidying up a load of toys my par grandparents had um, cleaned our carpet in here which was really nice of them because it needed doing and um, then on the Sunday Bill went off to his dad's, me, Mark and Daisy went to Ikea you can see all of this in my weekend vlog I'm sure you, if you watch it you'll already know all of this but I sorted through every single box of toys in here. We built things together. We pulled the carpet up in the hallway to get like that ready for when it's being done. It's starting tomorrow actually, which is really exciting. And we like sorted toys upstairs, sorted toys downstairs, hoovered, swept, like tidied up after the aftermath. And I was absolutely knackered yesterday. Monday was my normal working days, the day that when like Daisy's at nursery and Bill's at school so I get a whole day to myself to work and get stuff done around the house and um, I ended up having to go to bed and have a nap and I was just really really tired and I noticed that when I went to the toilet that I had lost some of my mucus plug. Now obviously I am not a doctor or a midwife so what I will say is that if this does happen to you obviously like you can take my experience as like a comfort but definitely ring your midwife which is what I have done today so I'll get into my chat with the midwife in a second but basically if you have not had a baby before and you don't know what a mucus plug looks like the best way I can describe it is like your vagina has a cold and has blown her nose in your pants and that's graphic um, probably you know I hope you're not eating but <laughs> that's essentially what it's like and it's normal to start losing it into the run-up to your pregnancy if you have what's called a bloody show which is essentially that and some blood as well that's usually a sign that labour is more imminent but you can actually lose your plug and it can replenish itself and you can use bits of it in the run-up to labour I remember losing parts of it with Daisy I would say from probably like the 36 week mark and then it kind of hit me that that's what it was around 38 weeks whereas this time like you know my vagina doesn't blow its nose on a daily basis so when I saw it I was like Ah, now I already have the peace of mind to know that it can replenish itself and that it doesn't mean that labour is going to happen anytime soon. But um, 
a few friends and like family members just said maybe like ring the midwife today and check it out so i did and the midwife kind of chatted through and said like have you had like any leaking like do you feel wet down there and i don't know at the moment have you had any sins no i haven't you know is it tinged with blood no it's not and then she said have you been like busy or overdoing it do you work do you have other children i was like well the reason why i'm so relaxed about it because it is my third and i kind of know what to expect I don't feel like labour is imminent whatsoever. He's still moving fine, which is obviously the most important thing. And I explained that I'd had like a really hectic weekend and I also have a 21 month old. And she was like, it sounds to me like you've overdone it. Um, and if you do get concerned at any point with his movements, you do feel like leaking like water or you do have like a bloody tinge, then ring us and come in because we'll check you over but for now like don't worry because as you've said to me i like we experience it a lot and women can lose their plug a lot earlier than like the 40 week mark um so it was kind of like i was a bit like oh when i saw it um and i'm quite rational when it comes to things like that so i didn't worry too much but then i'm glad that i've spoken to her and it's just made me realize that i do need to stop trying to be superwoman i've always I hate it when people say this as well but i am this sort of person i'm a doer i don't i'm not a relaxer i'm not a chiller i don't struggle to do things like watch telly and stuff unless i'm like watching something with mark i would rather be active i would rather be getting stuff done doing chores doing things around the house like that is just what makes me happy so i do struggle and i think i am my own worst enemy and i like i put my hands up i don't even need anyone to like tell me off because i know i'm naughty um but it just has has kind of hit home that i do need to slow down a little bit now um i think in my mind i keep thinking well if i was working my old job and i wasn't doing youtube and i wasn't doing this sort of stuff now i'm looking after daisy i'd still be at work by now and i probably would finish in like three weeks so i should keep on working hard because i would be if circumstances were different and um, with Daisy I think I finished at like 37 plus 4 weeks and with Bill I finished at 39 plus 4 so that is the extent of how, how hard I keep pushing myself um, it, but it also made me realise that if I started losing my plug with Daisy a few weeks ahead of the game like 3 weeks further along like around 36 weeks does that mean that maybe I will have him a little bit sooner i don't know but it's been quite it was quite eventful <laughs> as well as the mucus plug the other symptom that i've had is um quite a sore and painful crotch to be honest it feels like it's going to fall off or i'm going to fall through it is the only way i can describe it and that kind of goes hand in hand with the fact that i've probably overdone it so again i just need to take it easy and then otherwise i'm still off coffee a bit during the morning I feel a bit queasy sometimes and I get full up very easily so I think it's just a sign that you know I'm getting bigger and it's getting towards the end really. Now in terms of bits that I bought for him I thought I would quickly show you a few little bits that I've accumulated it's only three things it's nothing big and I bought these online they did come from America so that's a little bit irritating for me because obviously sometimes you get hit with customs and things like that but they are cotton muslin swaddles and they are just stunning i won't undo them because i don't want to just yet because <laughs> i might put one of these in this hospital bag and i'm not sure which but they are super super soft and i have one here that is like a night sky and if you remember and you've seen past hauls i've got a lot of like kind of astrology type sleep suits or with like night or space on so that would be really cute and kind of matches and then this one is kind of like woodland animal themed and I'm going to be quite honest I thought it'd be really cute to like take photos of him on as well as swaddling him if he is born healthy then swaddling is something that I could definitely try this time around with Daisy it was a bit complex because she was in an incubator for such a long period of time and she needed to have easy access all the time so they didn't really swaddle so i'm really hoping i get to use them um and i bought them as like yes no i will get to use them and fingers crossed that's the case and then the only other thing that i picked up and i thought i would share because if you're in the uk and you've got an aldi near you the aldi baby events on at the moment and i got a hooded baby towel and wash mitt from the lily and dam brand and this wasn't that expensive at all and it's got like a little dinosaur on but i picked this up because all of the the baby towels that we've got are 
pink <laughs> from Daisy. I can't find any that I had with Bill, so I must have like sent them to a charity shop at some point. But um, yeah, at least we've got one for now. <laughs> and then the other thing I wanted to share was this, because this was sent to me from a lovely pair of ladies called Mary and Alice on Instagram. Like I was chatting to them on there and they have a little company called The Six Essentials. And they've not paid me to do this. I like to try and support new businesses, particularly when they're mothers and they're starting out and they've got a great idea. Idea. so I was like yeah of course you can send me one and I'll have a look and I'm so so impressed because this is such a good idea for expectant mums and basically in the box that you get and you can get various boxes and stuff they have like six products and they're like six essentials for like a, a new mum for example so this one's called the new arrival and it includes like a shower gel a muslin a gorgeous candle thank you note cards which I think are so Oh, it's such a good idea because I always forgot to get things like that ready for when I had a baby. Then there's the little coffee bag company which would be perfect to take with you to the hospital so you can actually have like a nice coffee. Sorry NHS but your coffee sucks. And then there is a Radiant Glow face mask and I was just looking through it before and I was just so so impressed because I've never seen any like there are a few things that float around like this but none of them are as nice. So this is the muslin and it's like a really really soft super soft one it's white and it's got little gray teardrops on and then these are the little coffee bags so they come in this box and then you've got a little pouch of them so you could take those in your hospital bag because i think i definitely am and then you've also got your candle here and this is lemongrass and it's nice and soothing and it's a soy candle as well so they burn a lot nicer but the scent is amazing i can smell it even now just opening it and that oh my gosh that's so nice and then there's also the shower gel which is from bloom and blossom which i know is very geared towards like parents and pregnant ladies and things like that so uh, i can't wait to use that and then this is the little face mask which is wrapped up in bubble wrap it's just a perfect little size isn't it and then the thank you cards are just really really gorgeous quality with little polka dot envelopes and i just thought i'd share it because like if you're a new mum and you want to treat yourself or you've got a, like a pregnant friend or family member definitely have a look i will leave a link down below because i really do believe in supporting parents when they start with businesses and stuff and i just think this is a lovely idea so now i've shown you all that i'm going to quickly show you my bum and then i'll let you go so this is my 33 week belly with clothes on sometimes i look at it and i do feel like i've dropped a little bit but it could just be all the you know excitement from this week that makes you a bit paranoid and then this is it without any clothes on and yeah he's a he's a big old boy in there but i'm just so excited to meet him but just <laughs> not yet so yeah that is everything for week 33 i am hoping that i see you next week at week 34 with nothing eventful happening whatsoever and i can just go yeah it was a really normal calm week here's my belly the end <laughs> i hope you are all doing really really well and i will hopefully see you next time thank you so much for watching bye